Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Johan Duplessis. Today I will be showing you how to calculate radial and tangential reinforcement for a circular slab in Procon frame analysis. First, I will generate a mesh using the mesh generator. I will then align the local axis of each shell to the central node of the slab. Thereafter, I can analyze the model and briefly interpret the results. In order to define the circular slab, I will use the plate and solid mesh generator for the input. The plus sign defines the new polygon, and I want the slab to be at the 0, zero origin with a thickness of 0.3 meters. The radius of my circle will be 5 meters. I will add the supports later and I will just change the material to 40 MPA concrete. I can also change the average mesh size but I'm quite happy with it at 0.5 meters so I'll keep it as such. It is important to have a node at the center of the slab. I will add two lines which will intersect at the center of the slab. This will force the mesher to generate a node at the center of the slab. Later on I will be able to orientate the local axes of the various shells to the central node. I am satisfied with my input which means I can generate the mesh. I can then send this layout to frame analysis. Keep in mind that in Procon, the X, Y and Z axes are painted red, blue and green respectively. The local Z axis of a shell is usually out of plane in frame. I will now orientate the local Y axis of each shell to node number 71. Next, I will add some supports at the perimeter of the slab. The only load considered in this analysis will be the self-weight. I will enable a concrete design and I can change the settings of the concrete design in this dialog box. Once the analysis is done, I can have a look at the output results. Firstly, if you have a look at the deflection, you will see it is as expected with the maximum deflection occurring at the central node, node number 71. Keep in mind that the local Y axis is orientated to the central node. This means that the reinforcement in the y direction 
will be the radial reinforcement while the reinforcement required in the local x direction will be the tangential reinforcement. This will be the bottom tangential reinforcement and this one will be the bottom radial reinforcement. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.